Trey Lance needs a center. It's important. Uh, we actually saw a center quarterback exchange fumble with Trey Lance and um, Jake Brendel. I'm not sure if it's Brendel or Brendel. You went to UCLA during the practice that we attended on Wednesday. But I, I checked. Do you know how many snaps a quarterback takes from a center? Do you know how many snaps 49ers quarterbacks took from the center last year? I didn't even find that information. Uh, I, I don't. I Googled it and I ended up on like a fantasy website. I, I don't know. No. 1,091 snaps to Trey Lance, or obviously most of them were to Jimmy Gar over 900 of them to Jimmy Garoppolo last year. So before you even get to protection and smarts, there's just a quarterback center exchange that occurs. That's important. What about the shotgun, which, which I would imagine Trey's going to be heavily involved in? And we saw some errant shotgun snaps last year from Alex Mack, too. So Alex Mack's retiring. They need a center. I, I can't act like this is a big deal. I, I don't find it a big deal because I don't find good organization can find a garter center and they can make guys that you don't know much about become good players. Now, Alex Mack is kind of unique because he was a famous center, right? He had been to a bunch of pro bowls. He yep. was a first round pick. I would say I would put like the Quentin Nelsons of the world. You know, there's certain guards and centers. You would just say, you know, that guy's a famous guard or center, Larry Allen forever guys that are really, really good. Guys that are viewed, you know, I'd say Kelsey with the Eagles is a pretty famous center. Part of that is his brother, but he's become the face of a franchise. M most guys, guy, you, I don't think you could name 25 centers in the NFL. I couldn't. So I, I don't view it as like, I, I can't even pretend to be like, this is a big deal. Because they've known it. You can develop guys. It is the ultimate position where you can find a nobody and make him a starter. It, it, and function with him. If if you told me that Trent Williams retired, I'd say we got a fucking major issue. I I can I just can't look at center the same way. And I get technically he made the Pro Bowl last year. I didn't view him as like a Pro Bowl level player. Yeah, like you know he was some huge difference maker for the Niners. Now obviously he's better than I just looked up Brendel when you said he was a UCLA guy. I was just like oh he played for Chip. No, he's been in the NFL since 2016. He's like a Jim Moore Jr. guy, but. And I'm not saying that you feel – I don't feel great about a guy that's been on one, two, three, four, five. So clearly practice squad fringe guy, like if he has to start. One thing I'll say about Brunskill is like he started so many NFL games. Like I, I know he could be a starting NFL player. Do I love him as my starting center? No, but it's like he's a starting NFL player on a team that's been really good. Let's roll. Yeah. What, I, I just – you know, it's be like, why didn't they draft a center? Who? You know, there were a lot of centers that went really high. I guess you could have. I mean, you also can always move guards to centers, centers to guards. Like, it is kind of a, in theory, it should be a very interchangeable kind of little th trio right there. Yeah, I, I to me, I'm less concerned about the track record of the guy. Like, a lot, there's a lot of J.C. Treader. His name comes up a lot. It's less about the track record of the guy and more about just having a guy that Trey Lance is spending all of training camp practicing with. Whoever that is. If that's Jake Brendel, Brendel if that's... Uh, uh, Daniel Brunskill, if it's Keaton Sutherland, if it's Donovan West, I, whatever. Couldn't you, couldn't you trade for somebody? I mean, couldn't you, you know, a fringe you guy? Trade for somebody? I think to your point, 2019, they went to the Super Bowl. Weston Richburg, who then retired last year. Now, granted, they had paid him a lot. Like he was, he a, was a well compensated sure. player. But he was not. Uh, ben Garland had to take over at center for that team down the stretch of the year. Because he got hurt. Richburg didn't play week. Uh, I think he got hurt week 14. Teen maybe or week 12 i don't quite rem i don't i'd have to go back and look I, i'm just looking at snap counts here um but yeah i think that hurt week 14 because that's when his snap count dropped dramatically he was a top five paid center till he got hurt then garland took over says mark on the stream yeah, he, he he was well compensated now and that's i saw people then, in the chat saying that like obviously kyle puts a premium on that he paid richburg he went and got mac like he yeah he has no problem paying for a center so you He's willing to pay for center. It means he values center. I'm not acting like they're an irrelevant player. My point is, we're recording this part before the Warriors games. It's pretty clear that you don't need Shaquille O'Neal to play center in this modern day NBA, right? But like having Looney, who is very capable to do a lot of things, does help. I view the center in basketball a little like the center. In Joe football. Looney? Uh, no, he <laughs> former center too. I'm talking uh, Kavon Looney. 
who I was hoping that when I went on a walk earlier this morning to see his dad and give him a fist pump. Yeah, know, like maybe like, that's his dad's tradition. Every day at one fifteen game day, he goes out for a walk. And yeah, you two, two, guy, two guys that are just dialed in because one is son, the other guy just going to watch on his couch. But my point is, I do think that's just a, a, a position that you can find serviceable bodies. Now, would you rather have a pro bowler who's a high-end guy? Of course. But I, I can't pretend like this is the equivalent of losing a tight end, losing a tackle, losing a corner. And again, when we say losing, you were just talking like last week, you thought, I, I think most people beside myself thought like uh, he's going to retire. I just kept thinking like, why is he waiting? And then clearly the June 1, whatever dealt, you know, that period to post June 1, he changes the salary around, saves him a little money. But they, they've they known this. Like they, they went into free agency. I think it's fair to say they knew it. They definitely knew it at the draft. Like yeah. unequivocally, no one would deny that they knew exactly that Mac told them I'm done, right? Or I'm leaning to retire. So, hey, guys, 90% I'm going to retire when the draft happened. And they were cool with it. It isn't that part of, and this is where, you know, we hamper like BPA, BPA. But it's like, why didn't they do? Well, what if they did not one time they felt like a center? Totally. I The, the thing about J.C. Tre- I guess J.C. Treader's dad has been liking a lot of tweets that uh, I saw somebody, uh, I don't know if it's not Niners reporter or fan it would just appear to my timeline screenshots J- john i think it's john treader he's been just like liking tweets of jc treader to the niners um but jc Tre- i don't know if he's healthy enough to he's got like knee problems he missed practices last year for the browns he's a scheme fit i do think i i would say this i'm not just zero concern like you are be- because of the fact that trey lance is their quarterback this year that change if it was jimmy garoppolo at quarterback for the 49ers that comes with its own set of concerns and problems but protection specifically and you know maybe part of this is that's good as Trey Lance they ran a lot of Trey Lance kind of they put a lot on him remember remember the story before the draft was they put a lot on him at North Dakota State running similar stuff required him to make a lot of decisions pre-snap but um, the fact that you do have basically a first-time starter or quarterback I do think puts a little more pressure on this situation than would normally be the case I would say that Brunskill would know everything Mentally. Run skill would know everything. Yeah. And he's been on the team for what now? Going on four years. And the Niners years. do actually have a, you know, it's easy to put a blank space at guard, at guard, and at center, but they've got some guys that, you know, can Aaron Banks play guard? Can he start we, week one at guard do, for them? We do not know that yet. Like, honestly, as a better, would you feel comfortable placing a wager that Aaron Banks may be the starter at left or right guard? If you told me they don't sign another center, I would say yes. Yeah, they, they just, just need by, the Jalen Moore and Aaron Banks, and um, you know that's just that's just what it ends up looking like. Brunskill can play it too, so maybe one of these other guys is a better center than Brunskill, and Brunskill plays guard. Uh, Brunskill, Brunskill, Brunskill blocks uh, old ninety nine pretty well. That's always been his thing. It's like you know he's kind of an average player, but he matches up well against Aaron Donald. Yeah, <laughs> maybe just center. You know, <laughs> maybe Aaron will retire. 